Graded math one practice test for TCAP or 10 ready. Question number 28, we're in subpart three, that's calculator part. Harold's car has a fuel tank with 12 gallons of fuel in it. The fuel efficiency of Harold's car is 25 miles per gallon. Write an equation that represents the amount of fuel F in Harold's car after driving M miles. So I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting here. That matters. This matters. This is a thing I'll deal with. I'll start with this. I'm actually going to the per is a thing that's interesting to me and I can write my answer so I'm looking uh, to show how much is remaining that's like the secret thing that matters to this question there we go remaining so it's a little bit of a different look at um, the slope intercept form and why would I choose slope intercept why don't I choose why is it not exp an exponent because the amount of fuel changes in increments of 25, 25 miles per gallon for every one gallon, and we're using um, m as miles and that sort of thing. Uh, for each one gallon, I lose 25. I don't lose a percentage. That would be an exponential. So in this case, I'm doing it with a linear function. So I'm going to write this in there, and it's just a starting off point. It doesn't mean anything. I have to have some component of a starting point. Start here. Change here. Now my starting point is how much gas I have in my tank when it's full. So I have 12 gallons. <clears throat> and instead of a plus here, and then this y equals mx plus b thing is going to get flipped around a little bit. Uh, instead of adding stuff, I'm going to subtract every time that I drive. So it's important for me, and, and I want to know about fuel, so this is a thing I'm going to be dealing with. Now, 25 times miles, <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. So I have to think, what's the perspective of the question? I mean, it's easy to think, like, well, I just take uh, the number of gallons and then do whatever. Like, for me, all I'm thinking is, like, how do I get down to 11 gallons? What would make that possible? What number? And how's this 25 at all related? Well, if I had 25 miles to the gallon and I drove 25 miles, 25 divided by 25 gives me 1. That would give me 11. And this is miles per gallon, which is a really bad way to write that, but whatever. If you wanted to do it in the other form, So miles cancel. You can see the gallon. That works. But what if I wanted to get it down to the point where it was down to 10? Then I would have to go 50 miles. 50 miles, and this would cancel, and then this would give me 2, and then the 12 minus 2 gives me 10. So something here matters, and the big thing that matters is this right here. You'll notice that the miles, the 25, is on the bottom because I'm taking the amount of miles I'm driving and dividing by 25. How do I relate that back to my original problem? Well, I'm not looking for a specific amount anymore. I'm looking for a generic. So I need to take the number of miles that I've driven and divide by 25. So if you're in a situation where, or you could do, I think they do 1 25th times m, but I just want to do m divided by 25. It's the same thing. The key will say and equivalent, and this is one of the times the key is correct. Um, but don't just go in and think like, oh, well, I'm just going to add some stuff, or it's going to look like this. Test it out to see if it makes any sense. I use specific points in my uh, in my theoretical function to see if it would work. I wanted to get down to 10 gallons. Well, what do I have to do to get there? And how is the 25 related to that? I'm not looking at it from a miles perspective. I'm looking at it from a gallons perspective. Because they say how much fuel is remaining. So the perspective of your question matters into how you set it up. And it also matters in terms of what operation that you use to substitute. Like this is supposed to be times, and I guess if I did 1 25th times m, then it would look more like this. But to me, it's a division idea because I'm dividing the amount of miles by 25 to figure out how many gallons I'm losing over and over and over again. So that's number 28, a bit of a weird look.
at what seems like a simple problem from the beginning and is not super difficult as long as you take your time.